What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video is going to be a offensive tip. Uh, we are in the Kansas City Playbook, and I'm going to be continuing a Pistol Trips scheme uh, for you guys, and have a pretty interesting play for you today. Um, but before I get into that, I really quickly want to note that uh, I am trying to do a little bit more content. Um, unfortunately, uh, everything just kind of hit me at once, and I uh, wasn't able to get a lot of videos up that I really would have wanted to. Uh, but I just unfortunately couldn't couldn't do it. Um, but I am getting back into it, and uh, hopefully we can finally get back to the level we were at uh, earlier on in the season. But with that being said, um, I want to release this play for you today. And this is a play we like to do off of the strong power. Uh, you can put this in your quick audibles in your custom playbook if you want, uh, or you can just leave it whatever you want to do. But this play... Um, is, is a really effective play that we like to use, like I said, we like to use this off of the strong power. So after we've established the strong power, uh, we're going to start using this play as a com, as a, like a con, um, as a contradictory play, uh, to kind of, or an inverse uh, of our base play. And the play we're going to use is the play action bootleg left. Now, as you know, uh, with the strong power, we like to run it uh, off tackle uh, based on the weakness of the, of the side. But to prevent uh, guys from doing the uh, whole sit over to the A-gap with the safety and hold our trigger, what we like to do, and let me just show you an example, because this, in this situation we go to the left, is we like to motion that left side slot receiver across formation and snap it over the center so they can't get through, and we can get a seal here and seal there and get outside. And obviously we could have made a better run there, but unfortunately I had to do that with two controllers. Okay, so that's the thought process. So now we want to do something off our strong power that's going to make it more effective. So what we want to do is we want to motion uh, Williams to the right, but this time we're going to fake hike it uh, right here. So they, maybe they go off sides or whatever. And then the only other thing I want to do with this is I want to take Des Bryant. You can leave him on that fade route, but I really like to just put him on a drag route uh, just because it's a little bit safer in my opinion. Um, and basically we just want to read the field. Um, and here is this example, uh, this is a cover four, so we'll be able to hit Des Bryant. In a situation where they go, uh, say they go two men under and they man a line, um, this, this is probably the only defense that really can give this a little bit of trouble, especially if they press that slot, as you see I'm going to do here to give you a nice little example of what we have going. So you see, once they press that slot, we have a little bit of problems, but the mesh over the middle of the field with Des Bryant and Miles Austin and Jason Witten, all that congestion causes a natural pick and rub. And then, say our opponent's running like a cover three uh, defense here. So they run a cover three, and we're going to motion him across. Obviously, you want to do that fake hike there. But against the cover three, what's nice is that route to Williams is going to get in the middle of the field as he drops it, of course. But you see the idea. What about cover two sink or cover two? Well, that is why we have. Um, that's how. We, that's why we have Jason Witten's route. We're going to show it to you right here. Is going to do a good job of, of getting underneath the cover two. And so we're going to play action. And here you see we can hit Witten over the middle. And obviously, I like to personally cancel the play action. Uh, just let me show you what that is R two right after, so we can get right into the play, um, and show it to you. All right. And there's one other alternative uh, setup to this play. And this is if you are facing a guy that likes to run that two-man under press alignment and uh, do that. If he's doing that, we like to zig the tight end. And we like to put Des Bryant on a smart routed um, in route. And we like to put Miles Austin on a hitch route. A little little dig. And, and we can also smart route Miles Austin's hitch route if we want to, to make it an unbumpable curl. Uh, it's just based off of what you want to do. But as you'll see, this hitch route is the first read. And as you see, it does a good job against man. And then uh, let me just kind of cycle through these really quickly here uh, just to kind of go through and show you. But we're going to use that same setup for the next couple of uh, plays. So we motion him over. And then you see you got Witten's route, that little zig. That's been beating man coverage for like two or three years now. Uh, it's one of the better man beaters that you can do is just a simple zig route to the tight end. Um, so if you're ever in doubt and you need a man beater, uh, do that. It's very important. Um, and then I'll show you this in route to Des Bryant. And that's a little bit later developing, but you see it will do a good job of getting beating man. Another thing you could do, uh, if you want to, is you could put even you could even put Des Bryant on like a drag. 
Um, and that actually might be a little better option because of the, of the other route combinations together. But the only problem with that is it doesn't do a decent, it doesn't do an above average job of beating man. It does a little bit of a below average job, as you see. It's still kind of covered uh, all the way throughout, uh, but you can pass lead it uh, with a tip we used earlier on in our channel. So this is a nice little inverse play. Another thing we can do is um, if we want to just leave it like this, that fade route is really good uh, for user catching. And let me show you one thing that the advanced advanced players like to do when facing like a cover three defense with the with that streak. So the, keep this in mind. You can do this. So you're going to want to block the halfback for this. Um, and then you're going to want to motion this guy over, do that whole thing the same. The only difference is now, once you see that off coverage, if you see that quarterback back up immediately, and you're just going to pass lead that streak to the inside, and I did a terrible job of doing it there. Um, but you're just going to pass lead that little fade route to the inside. Um, and then you're going to click on and user catch it. So pass lead the inside, click on user catch. You see how simple that is. And I think, if I remember correctly, I don't know that you can do that against like a cover one. So let's just try it here. See, it's a little bit more shoddy. It's a little bit more of a gamble. Um, but you can do it uh, for sure against a zone. So I just wanted to plug that in just to kind of give you guys a little bit of another option just to let you know that's a possibility. But that's I, I think that's somebody else's tip anyway. So I'm not going to dive into that as much. But that's the play. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow for another one real quick before we go. Uh, check out some of the other videos on the screen and the annotations and in the description. And I appreciate your time, and we're going to try and get some more videos out soon. Thank you, guys. Be sure to check the channel daily for more updates.